Hey y'all, I'm gonna wait for everybody to get here and get the notification that I'm on. Let me see. Mm. I'm just gonna click all these names that pop up. I'm not really quite sure whose is whose. Hey guys. So once everybody gets here, there's something um, I want to address with you guys that I was watching just now. Hey Regina, in another tutorial, in another group. And I think it's something that really needs to be addressed in the cup world that a lot of people don't understand. Hey guys, okay. So we got about 27 people watching and it is hot again. Y'all, I got fired up watching a tutorial that I, I couldn't. It was, all right, I'll explain to you what I was watching. I was watching a tutorial from somebody in a different Tumblr group, not this one. And I don't even know how to explain it. Hey guys, I'm going to give everybody a chance to catch it. Hey, Regina, Joanne, Angie, Charlene, what's up guys? Um, let everybody know in the post I made earlier about going live that it's on now. I can't go through the live and do it. Ooh, I got fired up. Hey, Letty. Okay, so I'll tell you guys what I was watching. I was watching a live in another group. And me, normally, I don't say anything. But I've got to when I see something that somebody is teaching People who have just started this, hey Marva, and are completely new to the cup world. Hey Jody, before we get started on the tutorial and everything, let me address this after I have done tons of research, talked to many different people, especially people who have done cups for years, all right? Please, and I beg of you, please. Do not use automotive paint and automotive sealer on your cups. Does everybody hear that? Hey, Jessica. Do not use automotive paint and automotive sealer on a cup. The chemicals in those components are not the same as what we use on our cups and epoxy now yes the epoxy we're using has been cleared by the fda to be used for you to put your mouth on that okay for it to get wet from your lips and you not be poisoned all right none of us go around licking cars i don't think do not i repeat use automotive paint an automotive sealer just to cut corners in making your cups faster. Okay, hey Heather, hey Tracy. Ooh, see, I'm all fired up. I'm all hot and red now. I'm as red as my shirt. Does everybody understand that? Does that make sense? Yes, Jody. Did someone do this? Yes, they did. It is in a I go through like the rest of you guys. Hey, Christy, and I watch tutorials, okay, in other groups from other people to learn new ways myself, all right? And I've also, I never really say much about anything. I ask questions. Hey, Zen, Zenchel. Oh, I like that. That's new. I'm just joining. That is crazy. Hey, Kathy. Yes, Kathy, that is crazy. Like I said, I'm all red. I got all fired up. I could not believe this. Is Yes, Joanne, stuff like that is okay. I'm talking about legitimate automotive paint. Hey, April. Hey, Heather. Thank you so much. I love this group. You helped me so much. Thank you for helping us out. You're welcome, Marva. I don't mind. Hey, Mary. Hey, hey, hey. I only want you and one other, Christy. Yeah, and I know, but see, Christy, so many people watch many different um, tutorials and from so many different people, but some people just go and cut corners, and it's not, it's not okay. Don't use automotive products on your cups. 
They're not made for this type of use, okay? They're made for cars. If you want your customers to go lick a car, that's fine, but you're making cups. It's not approved to be used for this. You can end up poisoning people like that. It's not okay. Don't do it, Michelle, Laura. Okay, but like I said, that just got me. Oh, and it was right before I was going to go live. I was getting stuff ready to show you guys the coffee cups and everything. And I saw that. My brain goes haywire if I watch too many different things. Yeah, it can be that way, Christy. Hi, Helen. Thanks for answering all the questions. Hey, guys. Could tell new makers to use. I know, Regina. How does it? It makes your cups faster because automotive paint, Kaylee, dries quickly in like 30 45 minutes yeah tina it is insane new here i'm kind of late what i miss destiny so i wouldn't use automotive paint but i was wondering what do you seal your cups with so heather you seal your cups with your epoxy your epoxy is your seal if you read on your box um let me see if it's on the bottle look okay perfect example when you get your epoxy, let me see, I'll turn on my light to seal your cups. Ladies, I'll show you, ladies and gents, I'll show you right now. Right here on this, it says complies with FDA 21 CFR. All right, yeah, okay, sorry, I had to read it. Complies with FDA 21 CFR for coatings intended for indirect and direct repeated food contact when used accurately, measured thoroughly, and fully cured. Don't use automotive stuff. That's not the same thing. It's not FDA approved for your stuff. Okay? This is, Heather, this is what you seal your cups with. Oh, where did you get that? I got it straight from the company, Taylor. I ordered straight from the company site with the discount code. How much and where? I think it was like, ooh, see, I'm all fired up, y'all. Look how red I am. Um, it was like 70 bucks for a gallon, and I used the amazing savings discount code. Okay? This right here, this statement, is what tells you it's okay to seal your cups with. Y'all, I just, I can't. Mm. Woo. It got me all sorts of messed up. How many cups do you get out of that? Ooh, I don't know. I've had, I've done at least 10 cups and I've barely used, not even half. The person who's using Anna. No, Jody, she's in, um, I'm not going to say her name. I don't like throwing people under the bus, but I want to get the actual information out there for anybody that saw it. Okay. Heather, the sealant, your epoxy is your sealant. Let's relax and have some fun. Yeah. Regina, I'm just so worried that there's beginners out there that are going to go buy that stuff and put them on their products and think it's okay. That scares me. For buyers and for the makers, you put yourself at such a high risk with your products doing that. So, anyway, we're getting down to business. Whew. I'm hot now. 120 for a big one. Joanne, is that straight from the site? All right, so somebody asked earlier when I said about trials with coffee mugs. I have not yet played with ceramics and we are going to do two different ways. Ooh, I need an ice pack. Two different ways to do your mugs. Now there are some people who do the ceramic mugs. Hey Yvette, it's okay. Don't worry about it. What do we avoid new to this? What do we avoid new to this? Um, Yvette, you want to avoid using automotive paint, that's for sure. Regular, well, no, you're not putting your mouth, Kylie, directly on spray paint. You're putting it on the epoxy. Hey, Jason. Regina, I don't know. See, I came in here, so I didn't, I couldn't even do anything about it. 
Ooh, thunder. I try not to, but I just, I couldn't when I saw that. Yeah, Leonie, I could not. She was using automotive paint and automotive sealer. And there's a reason on our epoxy um, bottles, it says it does comply with FDA rules. Automotive paint is not made for that, so it does not say that on there. It has stronger chemicals on it. That's why it seals so much faster. Oof. Okay. So we're going to do this. We're going to do this um, two different ways. One way I saw when you put decals on your cups, because I use, I'm using water slides. All right. And if you don't, you didn't see the one yesterday, these are the water slides I made. Everybody is so obsessed with these and I love it. And then I made this one myself. So I'm going to have one here. And on the other side, I'm going to have this one. Okay, so this bottom area that's not covered by the decals is what I'm going to glitter. Oh, she was using, yes, she was using automotive paint and automotive sealer. Not epoxy at all. Love those. I just got five a couple. Yeah, okay. Uh, I love these. So I made this one myself and then, then I got that off of Google. And I want to put them um, on ceramic mugs. But I saw there were a couple different ways people are making their mugs. That's why if you saw my post before about uh, asking what everybody's done with some coffee mugs, that's why I wanted to know. Hey, Janelle. So we're going to do just the bottom. Now, we're going to do one way with uh, Mod Podge. And then we're going to apply the decal and seal with our epoxy. The other, I'm going to put the decal on it and bake it in the oven. I think you can still report after the fact. Let's do some cups now. Okay, Regina, yeah, I'll probably, I'll figure that out later. Just be careful. I saw he was getting Sue happy, so I won't be, po yeah, don't post, don't, don't publicly post it. I'm making these for fun. I just got, I'm probably going to give them to family, so I'm not worried about it. I don't worry about anything I can get on Google. I don't see that only epoxy I use. Stone coat, counter coat. I've been using this since I started. Hi, I'm new. Hi, Tanya. Can you put pictures on cups? I have a friend looking to buy one. She went, yeah, Jessica, you can print a picture on a water slide. Any picture you want, you can put on a water slide. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to try those two different ways. So first, on the one that we're going to apply the water slide, let it dry, and then put it in the oven, we'll do that one first because all you'll do is apply the decals first, okay? I'll let them dry and then bake them in the oven to adhere them to the ceramic uh, permanently. Then I'll do the glitter base. Ooh, better not get no tornado warning tonight. Hey, Shauna. And then the other one, we're going to tape off the bottom of our cup. We're going to adjust um, our tape line. Then we're going to Mod Podge and glitter it. Do you make them? I don't make the cups. Oh, well, I just love watching. Yes, Jessica, I make my water slides. I make them on my um, design space and then I print them on my printer. And then we're going to work with this. So I got an order for a 30 ounce maroon and gold. Now, typically I will tell you, put your light color on top, put your dark on the bottom. But because I will have a gold chunky and a maroon fine, we're going to switch them. So maroon will be up here, gold will be down here. Okay. I had someone ask for a coffee mug and I used printable vinyl. It worked great. Yeah, Paula, that works good. Printable vinyl, water slide, whatever works for you best. I love both. We've been getting them all afternoon here. Storms are crazy here today. Well, Jason, just be careful. Okay. I know the weather is always crazy in the summer. All right, so we'll get started on this, and then we're going to play around with the coffee cups. I think I have my paint, or my tape. Hey, Mary. I think I have my tape. Let me, let me grab it. It's over here in the corner, and I can't reach from just the chair. All right. Oh, 
All right. I did not mean to go away. We're gonna try this way first. I cannot get ombre correct. Well, Stacy, then you join the right live. I've got a couple of them. Good, Jason, be safe. Do you take orders or do you just make them for fun? I do both, Jessica. I do orders, custom orders. And then I just, I've been making cups for you guys in my tutorials. Storm's about to hit San Antonio. Well, thanks, Jennifer. Somebody keep me up to date before I open this window and there's a tornado sitting there. I'm a newbie. Where's the best deal on tumblers? Uh, tumblers. Danielle, I can, tumblers you can get anywhere. Michaels, Walmart. If you want to order them, Stainless Steel Depot, Maker's Flow, Mother Tumbler, uh, Steel Magnolia. There's a lot. And some glitter companies are now jessica um jason drop her my business page link please jason offered to be my link giver you guys isn't he awesome tell him thank you so any questions you guys have to links of the products i use he'll drop them on there okay jennifer always watching the radar girl i'm always watching outside if i wasn't live my i'd be standing outside <laughs> i'm just like that okay so we're gonna start this one first. We're gonna get Mod Podge. Now y'all bear with me. I don't play with Mod Podge much. My preferred method is epoxy. I got two different brushes. We're gonna play with both. Yay, can he drop your link? Yes, he can. I think they just figured. My husband just texted me. I don't know what he's talking about. He can wait. <laughs> I made three and it's not easy. I just, hey Vicky. Mother Tumblr is restocking this week. Oh, good. Thank you for teaching me. Anytime, Danielle. And any of you that are just new to watching me, you can privately message me after the live. Uh, any and all questions I answer, I go through all of my messages. And I answer you guys' questions and I can walk you step by step through anything you want. Okay? So I take electrical tape. Some You can use painter's tape if you have painter's tape. I use electrical tape. I like it better. It doesn't give me as much trouble coming off. You can use either or. So we're going to measure. Okay. Sorry, I'm getting messages at the same time. I'm not purposely stopping. Hello, can I use a mug heat, heat press instead of baking? Yeah, um, I've heard people use the heat press vinyl on a cup instead of baking a water slide. Yes. What did I miss? Just got home from... Well, Katie, I'm jealous. I want to go to the beach. Man, I'm stuck at home. Hey, Shirley. So we're going to go and measure. We're going to take a piece of tape and measure our line. Since this decal is the biggest one I'm going to measure with that and then my line should be fine no matter where I go I'm hoping this will help me yes Kathy it should help you drop your questions too hey Mariana don't worry about being late we're just getting started so I'm going to want my water slide towards the top so I'm going to hold it there and then I'm going to drop my tape Mm, right below the line. So I'm going to want my glitter line right about... Sorry, I'm going to have to turn this towards me. Is it safe to bake water slides in our oven? Yes, Jody, I watched it. Many, many people do that uh, to seal, adhere their water slides completely to ceramic. It's like 360 for 20, 30 minutes. And it just bakes it into the Okay. Denier. Hi. Hey, guys. All right. So you're going to figure out where you want your water slide. And then I'm going to throw my tape on here. To where I want my glitter to be. Y'all. I swear. Okay. So I'm 
Right about there. You see where this line is? Is where the glitter is going to stop. So all of this from that little black piece of tape down will have glitter. It's going to be taped all the way around. Okay. You can put glitter on a mug and can it be put on the, in the microwave? Yeah, Shirley, you just got to seal it. Mm-hmm. But if you have epoxy on the cup, you got to let them know it works the same with everything. Don't you tell them that mug can't go in the microwave. You can put your hot liquids in it, but you can't put it in the microwave. All right. So surely if you seal it with epoxy, that specific um, coffee mug can't go in the microwave. All right. So we're going to take the tape. Hey, Mitch. And go around. Start from the handle. And you want to try to, now the coffee mug is curved. So you want to try to line it up as best you can. For a straight line. And you're just going to wrap it around. Okay. What can you seal with? Clear spray seal. Um, you can do it with epoxy, but just don't put it in the microwave. And then see, I want to do the handle. See how it goes all the way around? Mm, that's a little cockeyed. Let me fix it. Like that. So where this bottom line ends is where the glitter will end. Shirley, if you don't want to epoxy, um, you don't even have to glitter the bottom. You can throw a decal on these. They don't necessarily need glitter. Why can't I find any of those footballs? These are just at the dollar store, Chelsea. I just got them at the Dollar Tree. Maybe everybody's onto the football trick. And they also sell great uh, honeycomb shaped foam pieces on Amazon that everybody uses. I just haven't bought any yet. Thanks, Jason. Yeah, Dollar Tree. Shirley, she wants glitter. Okay, then just do... Uh, You'll seal it with a clear seal spray. I'll show you what I'll use, okay? After I'm done cutting the tape and sealing this area around the uh, handle. Y'all, I hate handles with a passion. So I do want a little, what do you think, a little glitter on the handle? Bring it up just a tad. What tape are you using? Electrical tape. Yep. Electrical tape. Thanks, guys. Anytime, Shirley. I also use pool noodles. from. Yep, pool noodles are great too, guys. So I think we'll do the handle. We'll just do the handle a tad. Hmm. Just a bit. Just a bit, bit. Mm, right about there. And of course I didn't cut enough tape long enough. Yeah, Larissa, everybody's on it. This group is fantastic helping, doing questions, all of that good stuff. You're not going to find a better group of individuals than this group right here. 
I can attest to that. That is why this is the only group I do my tutorials in. If you epoxy a tumbler and has some minor imperfections and sand it down so you have to use another layer of epoxy or can you clear coat it? Um, and sand it and you have to use yeah, if you sand, you have to reseal your uh, your epoxy. Tell them what kind of water slide paper do you use? Sunny Sunny Scopa from Amazon. That's my water slide paper. I have a ceramic cup. I was trying to add glitter with Mod Podge, and the glitter is not sticking. Mariana, what uh, brand of Mod Podge are you using? Can you um, tell me what bottle it is? Hold on, my tape overlaps right here, so I'm going to trim it to make my line straight on the handle. Oh, well, it ain't going to cut. Does the last layer have to be epoxy? Is what? I, oh, to seal your tumbler, yes. Your final layer has to be epoxy. If you have glitter and everything on it, and you've already epoxied it a couple of times, your final seal, after you sand, should be epoxy. Epoxy is what your seal is. That's all epoxy is, is your seal, okay? How do you keep chunky glitter from being so lumpy on cups? Um, Shirley, I'll show you when I do the, the ombre. You'll see me do it. Phyllis, hi from Houston. Hey, hey, hey. The yellow one. Yeah, okay, so this is the Mod Podge we're using. Just the regular matte Mod Podge. I got this, the Dollar Tree. No, I still got glitter on me, what in the world? Mm. Okay, let's open this sucker up. Y'all can tell I never use it because this is the first time I'm opening it. I don't usually like Mod Podge because of the problems with streaks. There are lovers and haters for every method, y'all. And me, I've always just done straight epoxy method, but I want to try two different ways for you guys. So bear with me. Yeah, Jason's great about dropping links, y'all. I've already told him like what I use. He'll drop it up for you guys. So we're just going to use a little medicine cup and put a little Mod Podge in it. Let me see if I can move this. I guess it's called Mod Podge Matte. Yeah, Mariana, this is great. It's not sticking. That's strange. Hush. Sorry. My dogs are in here tonight. So we're going to use... Let me put these on the side because they're for the other cup. Um, there's a smidgen. Just a dollop of Mod Podge. Apply a thin coat, dries 15 to 20 minutes between coats. For a quick finish, apply smooth, moderate coat. Hello from Oklahoma. Hey, Susan. I'm just an Okie from Muskogee. Or Muskogee. Make sure this is clean. So we're gonna do the Mod Podge and I'm trying to decide what glitter on the bottom. Hmm. So I'm thinking to match the purple, Arabian Nights. Ooh, let's turn this on. And I taped off the cup. Mm-hmm. Okay, so all of it's taped off. I want the rim just a tiny bit. So only this little bit of the rim will have glitter on it all the way around. Okay. I just, I just pulled out everything to do an ombre with you and made myself put it back because I'm so far behind on orders. 
I don't know how you pick your colors. It's the hardest part for me. Most of the time I just pick colors by the fact of what I was, what was ordered. So I just taped off the whole cup. And like I said, this is not for an order. This is just somebody donated some ceramic cups to me and I figured I'd do a tutorial on it while I played around. So I'm going to match my glitter with the background on this and I'm going to use Arabian Nights. It's a really gorgeous purple. If any of you have seen my pink and purple ombre tutorial, this is the purple I use. Janelle, you can use a color wheel. Yes, Jason, you can use a color wheel. All right, let's get started. We're going, I don't have a Mod Podge brush. I just have a couple of regular paint brushes that we're gonna mess around with and get started. Let me get my glitter catching tray. That's very important. Y'all. Have you some paper set aside to catch all your pretty glitter, okay? Can y'all hear that thunder outside? Ooh wee. It's cause I'm busy. Do you spray water slide before you cut in Cricut? Yes, Marva, I am. Um, my water slides are clear so I didn't have to cut them um, out. I don't use white water slide, they're clear water slides. Hey, Tawny. All right, you're gonna take your brush and you're gonna apply your Mod Podge. You're gonna dip it in the cup. We're not doing glitter yet, so I'll put that over here. Can y'all see this? Okay. Oh, thanks, Danielle. I'll stay safe, don't worry. You only need to worry if you see me running duck for cover. If I say I hear a train, because I don't live anywhere near a train. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Okay. We're going to take the Mod Podge and you don't, you want to do your strokes all evenly because with Mod Podge, you can get streaks in your glitter and everybody's, why do I have streaks? Why do I have, I have streaks? It's because you need to make sure your Mod Podge is even. How are you tonight? I'm good, Tawny. Thank you for asking. I'm crazy hot. That's why my face is as red as my shirt. What's the difference in the two different colors of water? So Chelsea, one is clear, one is white. It just, it's just the background. When you take, um, when this comes off the paper, you won't see any of the white, okay? On a white water slide, whatever white you have around your image, you will see, okay? So, like this, if this was white water slide, all of the white, all of the white in the background would stay. I use clear because all of this is going to go away. And I'm using it already on a white background, so it works great. The color will stay nice and sharp. Hi from Virginia. Hey, Bethany. All right, a Mod Podge time, because this stuff dries. You're just gonna go along the bottom, nice even strokes. I'm trying not to make this streaky, but that's why I don't like Mod Podge. Ooh wee. And I will do two coats of glitter, guys. Those are nice water slides. Do you make your own? Yes, uh, Susan, I do. Hey, Lisa. All right. Now we're going to drop our purple. And I don't know how much of this is dried already, so we're going to find out. I should have put this on a stick. I'm going to have to. Yeah. 
Y'all see that? Mm, let me get a stick. <laughs> there we go. What did I miss? Lisa, you didn't miss much. Me talking some nonsense. Off subject. What is the best way to strip a cup? Um, Jasco's paint and epoxy stripper from Janelle. Do you still have the picture I sent you last night? Can you throw it up in the comments? Jan uh, Jasco's paint and epoxy stripper from Lowe's is what I use. What do you mean put a stick like this? So I don't have to keep holding it like that. That purple is gorgeous. I know I love it. Hey, Tori. San Antonio here. So I'm going to let this dry a minute and then we'll do a second coat. I don't play with Mod Podge enough. I didn't do the bottom yet. I'm not worried about the bottom yet. Let's squeeze a little more Mod Podge up in here. Ooh wee. Y'all should have seen the news yesterday. With everybody's like trampolines and stuff. <laughs> Blown away. I'm just gonna take what's in there and sprinkle it right over that. That I just did. Yes, I'm getting glitter all over my fingers. What else is new? But I have a paper towel right here. I use hairspray in place of my... Yeah, Christy, I've heard of that. I enjoy watching these videos so much. Thank you for all the help. You're welcome, Rhonda. What color of glitter? It is Arabian Nights from Glitter Chimp. So let's do the handle. That little bit that I wanted to do. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. And we're going to dump it on the handle. Just tap it on. See? Now just that little area of the handle is going to be glittered. Thanks, Janelle. Hey, Tina. Had not bought hairspray since the 80s <laughs> until I started doing. Christy, I know. I've not done the hairspray thing yet. How do you make the glitter stay in that area and do not and not follow you through the house? Oh, Danielle, it doesn't. Glitter is all. My house sparkles everywhere. Everywhere. It's in places it shouldn't be. Husband's beard. <laughs> uh, sorry, my husband's messaging me about the weather. Yeah. I don't want my son to think I was clubbing. Girl, you don't even want to know. People ask my husband if he, when he's got glitter all over him, if he was from the, came from the strip club or something. <laughs> yeah, there's glitter everywhere. I, it's no control. It ain't happening. At least my car's in the garage. I hope I don't have any hail. My house looks like a unicorn threw up in it. <laughs> yeah, I believe it. I believe it. Let's do the bottom while we let the rest of this dry. See, this is why I like epoxy. I don't have to wait. I can coat the whole stinking thing. It's raining. Oh wait, do I have that cup drying outside? Oh, no, no, I brought it in. My dog sparkled too. 
They sure do, Regina. The groomer wanted to know why they were so sparkly. I ain't scared of no thunder. No, sir. Like Scooby-Doo. I ain't scared of no ghosts or the Ghostbusters. Hmm. Yeah, see, I don't like Mod Podge, man. I just don't. I hear your storm. I know. You look like you have it so neatly contained. Oh, no. It's all a facade. Yes, Arcelli, I'm using the Mod Podge method, and I'm not liking it. I am an epoxy girl through and through. Okay, is this dry? Okay, let's try this again. The thunder sounds amazing. It is amazing as long as there are no hail in it. My dogs aren't scared because they're right next to me. Hold on, I'm gonna tell my husband I'm live. Mm. Ooh, I hear it, it's raining now. What about spray adhesive? Surely you can use spray adhesive, I just don't have any. It's been raining here all day. We had tornado we had tornadoes here Saturday, a lot of damage, but no one was hurt. Well, thank God, Danielle. Thank God you're okay. I squirted some more of this devil's glue in here. <laughs> I swear. Mod Podge is not my thing. I'm also working on a mug. Could I see the bottom? There you go. There's the bottom. Oops. Started doing the tacky over and over method that saves so much on the extra epoxy you have it to do with regular glitter apply. Hmm. I got tacky glue. I was gonna do a tacky method. I just haven't had time. So since I just coated this area, I'll do this area. Mm-hmm. That's better-ish. I still don't like it. I don't like Mod Podge. I prefer epoxy too. Yes! Epoxy, man! I'm gonna get a shirt. Nobody would understand epoxy proud, though. Not really. You know, with that rain and it raining yesterday, I've got that song in my head. Here comes the rain again. You know that falling on my head like a memory? Anybody know that song? Or am I just nuts? Will you do a tutorial when you have time with the Tacket Method? Yeah, I can do it. I'll do a Tacket Method. Give the Tacket a try. It was a game changer. Well, Christy, I'm already doing the Mod Podge. I think it stinks worse than epoxy too. It's the devil's glue. Y'all, somebody's going to message me being like, don't talk like that. I don't like it. Mm-mm. Yes, so you know <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Yes. Here it comes. I got that in my head now. Mm -mm -mm. And no, I don't sing, so don't ask. This is not a free concert. I prefer to do one coat epoxy with glitter than dealing with... Yes! Epoxy is my thing. I'm gonna, mm -mm. just cause. Mm -hmm. And I know somebody like that's an epoxy, uh, a Mod Podge Pro is looking at me thinking I'm a hot mess. That's fine. That's okay. Never claimed to be a Mod, Mod Podge queen. Hey Jennifer, what kind of epoxy do you do? I use amazing clear casts. Hey Bree, I 
Now it's like Garth Brooks' song, The Thunder Rolls. I'm new and using CC DIY. Hey Majestic, hey Phyllis. Yeah, um, CC DIY is good. Epoxy is all preference. Helen, just wait to see my five-year-old granddaughter did her first cup today. Oh, I can't wait to see it. Is it storming again there tonight? Yes, Brie, it is. Epoxy gives you the most working time. Yes, Bethany, it does. Arcelli, yes, it is thunder. Garth Brooks is shooting a music video outside my door. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Y'all, I don't, I don't like Mod Podge. This takes too long. I miss the thunder rain in Arkansas. Are you going to epoxy the mug after this? I love Mod Podge. There's no doing it better, though. LOL, it is what it is. A pain in the butt. Girl, see, Janelle, mm -mm. give me epoxy any day. Mm -mm. Don't like this stuff. Mm -hmm. I think the rain finally stopped here or seems to have stopped. What'd you do? Send it to me, Jason? Marva, I hear the thunder stormy here today. I believe it. I just had tornado warnings about an hour ago. It's raining here now, but no, tor no tornado. Well, good, Christy. I'm glad you're okay. Tornadoes are scary. Well, I find them fascinating, but others find them scary. Mm, I don't like this Sam I am. I do not like this Mod Podge. I've been using Amazing Clear Cast. Just started using KS Resin. I don't think I like the KS Resin. Lots of bubbles. And it seems to cure wavy. Mm, well, epoxy is all preference. I just love Amazing Clear Cast. Never had a problem with it. There's no smell to me. What is the dude's name on your water slide? Trying to find Leslie Jordan. L E S. I-L-E-J-O-R-D-A-N. I think that's all. Leslie. What color glitter chimp are you using? Arabian Nights. Arabian Nights. Like Aladdin. My dog's over here snoring, if you hear snoring. Yeah, I was glad that tornado didn't come to life here. It stopped here in Orlando, but I love rain though. I love rain too. Don't get me wrong, I love the rain. As long as it's only rain. My husband's at work and I don't want his car getting hailed on because he's gonna be one grouchy person if his car gets messed up. And then guess who has to hear about it? I don't want to hear about it. <laughs> does epoxy ever bother you? Jennifer, the epoxy I use doesn't. Amazing Clearcast is the first epoxy I ever tried because it's a great beginner's epoxy. Never did me wrong. Does not bother me. And I buy the epoxy now from the company itself. And it has a new chemical mixture to it. So it doesn't yellow as the way everybody claimed it did before. So it's fantastic. I just did my final coat with Amazing over the KS Resin and got rid of all my waves. I don't think I'm going to need any sanding. Oh, good, Kathy. That's always great. I've had enough rain. We're even on a flood warning now. Pal yeah, we had a flood warning before. Last night, I've always used Amazing with no problem until today. I got a lot of fish eyes. You got a lot of fish eyes, Joanne. I mean, that happens. No matter what you use, we're all going to have little hiccups. It's normal. I mean, look at this hot mess with Mod Podge that I'm doing. So we're gonna do, I keep breathing on this and the glitter is going everywhere. I'm always, yeah. Okay, I'm not missing anything. Mm-hmm. This is an awkward angle.
Y'all look at the butt for a minute. My power better not go out. At least I don't have nothing turning right now. We get some pretty strong storms here, though. I'm not going to lie. I love it. It looks great to me. Oh, good. As long as it looks good. I'm doing an older order of wine, eight wine glasses, and did Mod Pods, so the glitter felt like it was quicker that way. I hate thunder. I'm going to brush off the excess. Yeah, I'm going to brush off the excess. I'm in San Antonio, Jen. Oh, see? Y'all, you're going to see me sitting in the freaking dark. Wouldn't that be a tutorial? <laughs> Where'd Helen go? She done be in the dark. Good thing it's Mod Podge. I'm so mad. This is the second time doing this cup. First time I had to strip it. Yeah, I'm located in San Antonio, Sandy. Wow, that's warm. I look, it'll be in the Houston area when I'm trying to sleep. Jennifer, I don't doubt it. I'm a few hours south of you. Oh, sweet, Mariana. That's my fave city, and I love the storms, too. I'm glad you love San Antonio. Yeah, I love it here. We used to vacation here all the time. And then my husband was overseas for a year, and when he came home, we had to move. And uh, he's like, so where do you want to go? I wanted to go somewhere north, but he wanted to go south. I like the mountains and the cold. He brought me somewhere it's hot, it's humid. Man. But I love Texas. I do love it here. Get your flashlight out and do a live. Joanne, what do you want me to do? Go live in a closet and just be doing this? Like, you just hear the tornado going and I'm still doing a cup because I'm dedicated. He's amazing, too. I got some fish eyes. It could be the humidity, Jennifer. Those can be um, really picky. But just go over and do a, a fix-it layer. Second layer is looking a lot better. I'm excited to hear all that thunder. We're moving to San Antonio once my husband retires. Oh, you'll love it, Gina. It's Military Retire Central. Everybody here is retired military or current, act, currently active. Yes, yes, please, lol. I am not getting in a closet, y'all, and doing a live. Somebody's going to post that on YouTube and be like, do you see this crazy lady who did a live in this video? She never stopped. She just kept going. I would go live, though, like if there was a tornado and I couldn't get a hold of anybody because the phones were down. I'll go live and have you, have you guys call my husband. <laughs> Are you close to LaRue, Texas? I don't know. I don't know if I am, Vicky. I moved to Texas almost six years ago, waiting for it to grow on me. Yeah, Mariana, it, it will. Hey, that show the glow powder is good. Live in the closet. <laughs> yeah, then I'll show how you, I'll be like, oh, I'm just showing you guys how the glow powders work. Would it be terrible if I put all my cups in the closet with me, with the kids and the dogs, so they don't go anywhere? You say that anyways, Helen. You got me laughing so hard. You will go viral then. Jessica, mm, you do not want to see me go viral. Hot mess. I'm going to dip it in that. Ooh, look at that. I just used the extra glitter on the paper and popped it on there. <laughs> second layer is better, right? I think I got better coverage with the second layer. I shouldn't have judged so hard. I guess he's planning on working for Boeing once we get there. Oh, nice. No, save the cups, right? I still would put all the cups in there. Y'all, that'd be jacked up. I wouldn't have like jewelry or anything in there. I'd have all my cup stuff in the closet. I'd be taking my turners, my computer, my silhouette. <laughs> my husband would be like, you couldn't save any important documents? No, I had to save the cups. So we're gonna put the glitter back in the bottle. Y'all, that's dedication. It really is. Yeah, it does look better. Love that color. I know, I love this purple. I feel like that if anyone could rock a closet live, it would be you. I just came out of the closet. You're closer to Dallas. Me too. Kids are on their own. Just save the cups. Jason, you know I'd be laying myself on top of them. And then I'd be like that cow in the twister movie, just floating around in the air holding cups. <laughs> 
So for me, I did a, a layer, let dry two hours, then did a second layer. Yeah, the second layer I did right away, but that looks a lot better, so I'm liking that. Yeah, I told somebody when they were talking about the flooding and the tornadoes, I said, I'll let you guys know, because if I live um, not too far down from SeaWorld, and if it floods bad enough, I told, uh, I told her, I said, I'll let you know if I see dolphins and whales swimming out in my yard. Then I'll know that there's some flooding going on. So there's the purple. And I think that looks a lot better. I'm losing some people. They probably think I'm nuts. The kids could carry more. Right? They can, they can hold my turners. I think that looks so much better doing the second one. That's going to be super cute. Look at that. I can't. can't even see it. I don't know why I'm holding it that way. I have an aunt that lives in Texas, 60 miles from the Oklahoma border. Oh, cool. Okay. So this is the Mod Podge method. Excuse me. I'm going to let this dry for about, I don't know who, who all uses Mod Podge. Tell me how long I'm supposed to let this dry. 15, 20 minutes between coats. And then to seal it, I guess it dries clear. Apply smooth, moderate coat. Okay. If Shamu shows up in the yard, you know you have flooding. Yeah. If I see the dolphins swimming by, the penguins got out, Shamu's doing dips on the end of the corner where the hill goes down. I don't even have a boat. Be in my bathtub. I like that, you guys. Arabian Nights. Look at that. So we're going to let the Mod Podge dry. I hope it dry with my heat gun. Paola, what do you want me to do here? I don't want to blow all the glitter off. It's okay. We got to do the ombre. Oh, I definitely sealed with epoxy after. Okay, so I'll spray seal this, this thing. Oh, I can't tell if I missed a spot or what. It's my eyes. He would be coming up to the window to wait for you to... Girl, you had to do the beach cup. Jason, man, mm, he would. I'd ride Shamu to the, what did I do with the glitter? I'd ride Shamu home, build a new ark. It'd be a cup ark. I wouldn't put no animals on it, but my dogs. <laughs> I'm gonna cover this little bitty spot I missed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That I didn't see. It was like a shadow. Okay. And these were Ikea coffee cups. Somebody donated me some really expensive white coffee cups. I think they're expensive. I don't shop at Ikea. I wouldn't know. I don't even have a stand. I used the wrong pole. It's a hot mess. Mm. Stay. Okay. Penguins and otters. Mm, it's y'all. I can't. <laughs> I want to take the tape off before it dries. Or yeah, I'll I'll pull it off, Joanne. I know the tape roll. I'll pull it off. Let me pull it off right now. Okay, we'll pull it off right now then. I'm covered in glitter, y'all. This match watch method is messier. Sparkle like a stripper. And this is not a stripper body. Let me say. No. Okay. Now we're going to get with the rest. Alright, Joanne. I hear you yelling at me. I'll take it off. And I mean the tape. Where did you get the brush? I don't know. It was in a craft box I've had for forever. I think the dollar store. It's nothing special. Doesn't even have a name on it. It's not important enough for a name. I'm telling you, hairspray. Christy, does it look like I use hairspray? My hair's a mess from the wind today and being outside working in the yard. Ah, oh, that was awesome. Oh, I, I, can't, I take it y'all got my joke. 
I know there's a delay between me and you, so I was giving it a second. Some would beg to dip. No, Danielle, ain't nobody begging to differ with that. That is a solid, unanimous decision. All right, tape time. <laughs> Thanks, Charlene. I just dusted the whole table with glitter. You're the you are best. I had a stressful day and you make it so great. Well, I'm glad I'm making you laugh, Joanne. Even if people are laughing at me and not with me, that's fine. Like this woman's nuts. Okay. I'll show you on the line. Let me pull all the tape off. Loving the color and the cup design. I have plain boring cups that are pushed to the back cabinet. Not a coffee drinker. Thinking I have to experiment because I love your cup tonight. Lori, experiment. That's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing in front of y'all. I'm making it crazy. Hold on. I think I need this little spot right here by the handle. Drink tea then. You don't got to be a coffee drinker to have mugs. You do not. There is no rule on that. So I'm just sticking this Mod Podge in those little places that were missed because of the paint or the tape. What are you doing? You're making a hot mess, Marsha. We're doing a, a ceramic cup. Mm. Ooh, that's better. I'll show you in just a hot second. Hold on. I gotta fix this. See? I miss nothing with epoxy. Only this Mod Podge stuff. I put ice cream in my mugs. Ooh, that's a good idea. Yeah. I use mine for like hot cocoa in the in the winter. My kids love to do um, Christmas movie and hot cocoa nights. Oh, I can push it to where I want it with my fingernail. Y'all. Wait, look at that. How stinking pretty. I shouldn't have really done the handle, huh? If you're just joining the live, she's thinking to go live in the closet. Chrissy, don't. I'm not going live in no stinking closets. <laughs> I'm telling you. Helen, did you epoxy first? No. Mod Podge. Y'all, I can't even tell if this is straight. It's probably not, but that's okay. It's learning. But the cup is curved. I don't know. Maybe it's my eyes. Is this straight? Ooh, the whole handle? Ooh. What do y'all think? The whole handle? Do you agree with Mariana? The whole handle? Yay, nay. Whole handle. And there's the bottom. Ooh, I'll put it in the light. Here we go. Okay. Yeah, I, see guys, I stare at something so long, I think I go cross-eyed. That is super cute. These mugs are going to be awesome. Maybe I'll give them away in my business page. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What do y'all think? Looks good. I like the whole handle idea too. Whole handle, whole handle, whole handle. Okay, okay. Okay. I already got glitter all over the stinking thing anyway. I might as well. 
Where's my tape? Ooh, topsy turvy. Don't do that. Take it off. Mm-hmm. I would take it. I did take it off the handle. Vicky, God, so bossy. Yes, whole handle. Okay, okay, okay. Whole handle. I hear you. I got y'all. I got gotcha. you. Mm -hmm. I gotta tape it off so it doesn't get on the. Take this football out. I don't need it on there yet. Ooh, I hear sirens. They're not coming to my house, so I'm okay. Unless some of y'all called them. I'm super late getting here. It's fine, Tammy. Ain't nothing to it but to do it. Right? I'm taping it. We'll do the whole handle. What did Jason say? Jason, LOL. Epoxy app. I do the whole handle too. Go for it. Go for it. You can handle it. Looks good, but the whole handle. Handle, handle, handle. <laughs> We've been waiting forever for you. I wait forever for everyone. I'm surprised so many people watch. I didn't think when I started doing tutorials that I'd have as many people uh, asking me to go live so much. I kind of figured when I did my glitter swirl that it was going to be it. Hey, Teresa. And y'all just surprised the crap out of me. Your kids called and said their mom needs help because they heard you talking about going. No, they probably... <laughs> That's why the why the cops. No. Uh, we all know the reason they'd be coming here. They want a cup. <laughs> Sirens going. It's a cup emergency. We are your people. Aw, oh, thanks. You know, I'm on every one of them to bug you. Jason, you don't bug me. Carry on. I try to interact with everybody. That's what I think is so fun. I'd be late for my own video. Can y'all hear them? It's pretty loud because the one of the main roads is not far from my neighborhood. Thanks, Sherry. I think I'm alright. I don't I don't hold my you you guys hold me higher than I hold myself. Y'all hear that? I know if I hear it, you can probably hear it. If you're hearing the thunder. Okay, I think I taped this off enough. I just don't want to mess it up. Oh, you do hear them? See? I wonder how so many people get like hundreds of people watching them at a time. I'm curious because I think that's crazy. I ain't going out to look. I ain't being a Karen. Is that what they say these days? Don't be a Karen. I got a neighbor like that as it is. Old man. <laughs> There's so much tape on this. <laughs> look at that. That's way too much tape. You don't need to tape it this much. It's the glitter, please. Yeah, I haven't spilled any glitter. Hey, I just joined in. Why are you taping that section? I've never made anything. So, Denise, then you're going to see me glitter a whole handle. And we're going to mess with this devil glue again. Because y'all could not just let me leave it be. I used to tell my sister she would be late to her funeral. She passed September 6th, and she was there on time. Oh, Joanne, I'm sorry about your sister. Mm 
When I was little, I used to tell my cousins that uh, I wanted someone to hide my body and make it look like they couldn't find me for the funeral. Just to make somebody laugh. Like, she done gone missing, y'all. I don't want it to be sad. Although, heaven help my husband. I don't know what the world would do with him if I was gone. Okay. Now that I glitter like I've been to the strip club, palming someone, we're going to do the handle now. Because y'all just don't want me to leave this stinking thing alone. Someone on the Tumblr site said Tumblrs will get old and people won't, won't want to buy them anymore. Well, Jennifer, everything, there's like fads in life. Like everybody was making wreaths at one point. Some people still do. I still do. But I don't make them as much as I used to. How much would you charge for a mug like that? I don't know. I guess it just depends on how much work I put into the mug, Shirley. Honestly. I've never sold a mug yet. I'm thinking I'll give this away to one of you guys on my business page. We'll do a giveaway on one. My fiancé did that when his dad died. He got almost all the way to the service and left his dad on the kitchen table. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear my dog snoring. Well, you guys can hear on this thing. Y'all see it's flickering. Mm -mm. I'm going to tape right there too, just in case. Because I, I feel like if the Mod Podge drips, I don't want it getting on the bottom. I to this day never seen her, her at the funeral. I was there but could not see her. Are you talking about like a viewing, Joanne? Make sure you rub some of that glitter in your hair. I don't even need to rub it in my hair, Amanda. It's everywhere. It's in places it should not be. It's on places... On my husband, it should not be. I should have titled this tutorial One Dark and Stormy Night. Okay. I just want to be careful. Okay, I'll rub it in my hair. How's that? My bathtub has glitter all over it. I constantly have to clean it after I take a bath. My grandma would love that cup. I'd buy one for her. I wish, Jessica, I wish my grandma was still around. She was my best friend. His is from the panda suit. Ooh, I should put glitter in the panda head, and then when he takes it off, poof. So, I don't know if anybody saw it, but I had a package. I ordered a cup for a beach tutorial for you guys, and it was stolen off my porch, right? Posted in the neighborhood, I was. I told everybody, I said, if you see your rotten little kid or whoever walking around with a 20-ounce skinny from Hog, that's mine. <laughs> and uh, anyway, I told them, I said, my next package is going to be, because they've even been stealing empty boxes on my porch that I leave because I make um, slime and stuff for the local neighborhood kids since the quarantine to like have give them something fun to do. So I'll put some in a box when somebody messages me and wants some for their kid and uh, leave it on the porch. Well, somebody was even stealing the empty boxes. So uh, I told them, I said, the next package I'm putting a box on my porch is going to be a glitter bomb. And I'm going to leave it for some little snot to find. And then let it explode on them. And whoever walks around my neighborhood with glitter all over them, they're going to get it. I'll know. Yay, can't wait for the beach tumble. I know, Mariana. I can't wait either. That's going to be awesome. What are you using to adhere the glitter? Tammy, it's Mod Podge. The devil's glue. I can't believe y'all made me use this more than what I wanted already. I can't. I'm a sucker. Okay. That's enough. Let's bust out the glitter. Use kitty litter in the sun for the next box. Ooh, with glitter. I don't have a cat. 
I'm gonna figure out. It's gonna be a glitter bomb, and not my good glitter. I'm gonna get some cheapo glitter, and I mean a crap ton. And I put it on the site too. I said y'all are gonna know who's stealing my stinking packages if it's a grown person or a kid because they're gonna sparkle like the sun. That's gonna tag them. I ordered some tumblers from Steel Company. The package show delivered. Yeah, Mariana, mine show delivered. They go through FedEx, and the FedEx here sucks. They don't even ring your doorbell or nothing like Amazon. I freaking love Amazon. I get a picture of where my package is. They ring my doorbell. Ooh, sirens. Everything. FedEx, nothing. It's one of those, like, jokes you see, those gifts about FedEx. And they'd like throw it at your house. That's literally how it is here. It's already looking so cute. So yes, with the it was good doing the whole um, handle. Some way to make the glitter stick longer so they can't. I'll put the devil's glue with the glitter. This Mod Podge, like a dye pack, but with glitter. I should get one of those dye packs they use in money bags for when people rob the bank. Yep, they even asked me if I checked in my backyard. Seriously? Your backyard? That must be a nasty wreck. Angie, it might be. I don't know where the power went out because mine keeps flickering. So we're going to let this dry a bit and then we're going to do the second one. So yay to the handle. Why didn't y'all say something before I did it? Or tape the whole stinking thing? I should have could have done it all in one go. Because I'm going to do the ombre. This is going to be another long tutorial that people are going to complain about. <laughs> Looks good. Good, good. Let's put this pretty, pretty glitter back. Get a camera. Trisha, I know. we Our old house had security cameras that my husband put up. But since we moved, we barely will be here a year next month on my birthday. We I literally moved in here last year on my birthday. And, uh... We haven't had time to do any of that stuff because we wanted to make you stay longer. I know everybody wants my time. I'd never complain. Longer, better. We want to keep you on here longer. That's why. I don't mind being entertainment for anybody. That's fine with me. Y'all, I can't tell if I miss a spot on this freaking bottom. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do it anyway. Right there. Because I think I did. I'm gonna just leave it a second. Ring doorbell. Yeah, I know. I need to get one. Janelle was looking for me one. She was so mad my package was gone. I think Janelle was more mad than I was. I just ordered two more. I made my husband feel bad that my package disappeared and he let me order two more cups. <laughs> Thanks, Jason. Yes, Arabian Nights from Glitter Chimp, y'all. I think the handle looks a lot better. And I taped all this off to keep the glitter off. This is going to be super cute. And it's an Ikea coffee cup. I know I probably didn't say that a whole lot. They're just Ikea coffee cups. Somebody donated to me. And I'm covered in glitter. I'm never covered like this in glitter if I'm using epoxy. I swear. And this is the Mod Podge. I had a crazy lady knock on my door at 6 a.m. this morning and woke me up just for a cigarette. Mm -mm, I wouldn't have even answered the door, Joanne. No, ma'am. We have a chain link fence surrounding our entire property, so they reach over the porch rail and just lay it in the chair. Looks so cute with a handle on it. I just had a newborn. She just fell asleep by having on my TV screen. Uh -huh. My son's eating sunflower seeds. Aw, uh, Jessica, you're watching me on the... Oh, I would not want to see this face on the big screen. This land. Tell your little boy hi and your baby. How long have you been crafting? Surely I've been crafting for very many years. Not cups particularly, but crafting I've done a very long time. Puzzles, wreaths, um, random decor pieces, all stuff like that. Will I epoxy the cup later? I don't know. I may just clear spray seal my glitter and leave it at that. I hear you, I'm sick of moving. Just move from Dallas to Cleveland. You live in Cleveland now? How do you like Cleveland? Is there a lot of crime in Cleveland? My son used to love the Cleveland Cav Cavaliers. Okay. How long has this been? I've been talking smack. Let's use some more stickiness. 
Y'all, I hear, I hear sirens so often. And I even, I live in a good neighborhood. I live in a high-end neighborhood. And I, I hear them more now than I ever have before. I bought all the white coffee cups from our dollar store. Go for it, Tammy. Or move to Sac Janelle, you would. You'd want me to move. To I can't move to California. Mm-mm. I can't move to California. It's hot. And there's too many fires. It's hot here, though. Wouldn't it be rough if you don't epoxy it? Yeah, probably. I'd probably epoxy it. I don't know. I've never messed with this. Would you bake that? Surely one of them, the one that I'm not doing the glitter on, that I'm just gonna, you'll see me just apply the decals on. Uh, oh, and will be the one that's baked. I'm not going to California. That place shakes. Can you imagine me in an earthquake? No bueno. If you don't epoxy it and just spray seal it, will it last? I don't know, Tammy. We're going to find out because I have never done ceramic cups before. This is kind of a learning process for all of us. So we're going to take, y'all, anytime you're going to use Mod Podge now, you're going to think of devil's glue and do the handle again. closet that's right Christy I'd never come out that stinking closet this and shaking oh my goodness no yeah I already have terrible balance Woo. no ma'am give me a tornado any day I want to learn how to fly before I want to learn how to do that You don't have to get under the desk there instead of... Uh-uh, I wouldn't get under no desk. I'd go outside. Kidding. Just like when they told people to go under a desk if there was a bomb. What the world is that desk going to save me from? I don't think so. Me and my back, I'd be stuck under the desk forever. Okay. Now we got the handle done again. After Mod Podge, what are you going to do? I'm going to let it dry. I'm going to seal it, and I will probably epoxy this. Because I want a good seal. But whoever gets this, will I will let them know not to put it in the microwave or soak it or anything. But they can use it just the same. Nor to no tornadoes. Yes, and I am going to put water slides on it. I lived in Kansas for a while and couldn't get out of there fast enough. I was a nervous wreck during tornado season. Oh, I can imagine, Tammy. Now, see, before I got married and had kids, I was in love with Twister as a child, and I always wanted to become a meteorologist and chase storms. That was my dream. I, I met Matt in high school, got married and had kids instead. Oh, well. So what do y'all think? Here's the handle. This stinking Mod Podge, man. Mm, I don't get the coverage I want. I hate having to go back and make it darker. This is driving me nuts. There, that's better. I just experienced my first earthquake in March. Bobcats and snakes. Trisha, I know, since moving here to Tex uh, South Texas, I've never seen so much wildlife. Like in Clovis, New Mexico, where I'm from, there was not wildlife like there is here. There's deer that live in my neighborhood because we have woods surrounding the neighborhood. 
raccoons, possums. I was like, y'all, I would freak out if I woke up one morning, let my dogs out, and there was a stinking possum in my backyard. They're almost the same as tornadoes. Kids are worse. Worse than a tornado. My seven-year-old was freaking out yesterday because we had that tornado warning. Freaking out. Yes, I love this color. Arabian Nights by Glitter Chimp. Freaking fantastic. Can you imagine somebody going and watching this <laughs> tutorial on replay and not going to have any idea what in the world is going on? Possums are nasty. Yes. But I did warn my neighbors that if all the meat sold out in our grocery stores, I'm hunting the local wildlife. Because I sure as heck ain't going hungry. Oh my god, there's just so much. I don't know if you can see that. It's everywhere. More than normal. In Florida, we have gators warm. Uh-uh, see? No, you ain't gonna see me with an alligator. They'd take one look at me and think of me as Thanksgiving. Mm-mm. Ain't doing it. I ain't doing it. All right. The coffee cup is done. We did it. We went ahead and glittered the handle. See? The inside of it's done. This lamp works so freaking awesome. I'm so glad he got it. And then I'm going to take the tape off in just a minute. And I will brush off the excess glitter. I know somebody said that earlier. Right now I'm tapping it off. This is super cute though, guys. Then we're going to adhere the water slides. Got to take the tape off now. Okay, don't yell at me, Kinsey. I know. A lot of family drama I have to catch up later. It'll be good to watch this one minute here. Okay, Janelle, go ahead. Go for it. Go do what you need to do, hon. I'll be here. I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> I'm trying to get the tape off without touching this stinking thing. No! Oh. I'm an idiot. One possum eats over 5,000 ticks a season and eats bad snakes. Possums are better than a Walmart shopping cart handle. Now they are nasty. Well, if a possum's eating ticks and snakes, that's fine with me. Should I adopt one? Because I sure as heck don't want no snake. Mm -mm. Here we have uh, little like lizards and OMG. I do not go near those suckers. They always puff out their necks and stuff. You hear them chirping at night. No, sir. It's having a lot done here. I know in Gainesville where the university is. I've had friends send me videos of them walking right up on. See, no. Mm -mm. Gator peace out, Florida. No, thank you. Now I'm going to take this hot mess of tape off. His best friend has a raccoon as a pet. Her name is Betsy. She's mean to people she doesn't know. She has a raccoon as a pet? That's pretty cool. Y'all, I used to want a tiger as a pet until I watched Tiger King. <laughs> okay. Stick my hand in there. Look at that. Ignore this mess. That's not stuck. That's just random strays. Look at that. Look at my cup hand. Look at this. I'm going to bring that up in there. Look at this. Look at that sparkle. Is that not phenomenal? for about five years she was awesome i want to pet fox that tiger bit just made me laugh out for real i did but my husband said i can't have a tiger now because of carol baskins she freaking ruined it for me man 
I know a few people around here that have coons as pets. And they are awesome. I have a family of five of them that comes into my backyard now and then. How do you seal that mug? Haley, I'm going to glitter spray seal this. Um, I'll show you what I'm going to use. And, uh, but I'm going to, I wanted to apply the water slide first, but I guess we can spray seal it. I know you can use Mod Podge as a sealer, guys, I know, but I ain't touching the devil's glue again. Mm -mm. I did buy Mod Podge because I want to do a stained glass tutorial for you guys. I'm going to get the, um, the stencil for that Beauty and the Beast stained glass picture and do one of those. It's going to be long, but I think that'd be fun. What do you guys think? That made me laugh out loud, too. It's scary all of a sudden if someone had a skunk and got the spray sack taken out. Hmm. Take out the skunk's spray sack. Where's my other brush? Mm, no. Mm, this will work. This is just a dry brush. I'm taking all the extra glitter off. Yes, my daughter wants a tumbler of that Beauty and the Beast one. Yeah, I thought that would be fun. It, it, it does require several different glitters, so I'm going to have to look at the picture and decide which glitters um, I want to do for it when I have time. I got a, I did get a um, 30 ounce, oh crap, skinny I could do on it. Can I fix this? Mm, where's my glue? See y'all? This doesn't happen. If it was epoxy, this whole little hot mess thing I just did right here could have just swirled away. But because it's glue, it's not going nowhere. I have a horse in the house now. Hello, Great Dane. Oh, I thought you meant a legit horse for a minute. That's my daughter. Yeah, I want to do a Beauty and the Beast one. That's my my favorite movie. I call my husband my beast because everybody always thinks he's not nice, but they just don't know him like I know him, which is fine with me. I'm going to get this little edge right here that the tape missed. Just a smidge. My husband came in here to go to bed. I sent him back to the living room to watch TV. I told him you had a long way to go in this life. Christy, I know. I'm sorry. I'm trying to hurry. I wish you could come on earlier. I'll go back to work soon. I've come too early. Yeah, I will come early. I swear. I'm going to work on it. I can't get nothing in my house to work till this late, though, for me. What glue do you use? This is Mod Podge. Can I do another layer of Mod Podge for glitter? Yes, you can, Ashley. You sure can. You can do another layer. Hmm. Now I'm going to take off the excess glitter. Like I was told to do by Modge Podge experts. The devil's glue. Yes, the devil's glue. How long do I wait? Wait to do your Mod Podge, Ashley? Y'all, my back is killing me on this stupid chair. I can't wait to get my new one. I don't get it till Friday. And all I'm doing, you can see, is just brushing off excess glitter. really lightly
How long do I brush? I wait 10 minutes between coats. Okay. When you bake Mod Podge, do you use a brush? Do you see the brush strokes? I don't know if when you bake it, you see them. This second layer, I'm not seeing any strokes. Y'all see strokes? I don't see anything. Y'all can only see the sparkle, huh? Can you bake Mod Podge? I don't know. I'm going to seal this with epoxy instead of baking it. The other cup, I'm going to bake the water slide to it and then do the glitter. I have a gaming chair that has a back massager on it. I love this chair. Oh, don't rub it in, Jason. We know. So when using Mod Podge, guys, brush off your excess. Oh, see? It's not dry yet. Stupid glue. Mm -mm -mm. I do not like Mod Podge, Sam I am. Okay, we're going to leave this alone and let it dry, and then I'll dust off the glitter. I'm going to set this over here. How late is it, y'all? Ooh, I've been on here way too long. It's almost two hours. So, we're going to leave it with the cup tonight. And I'll do the ombre tomorrow with y'all if that's okay. Since it's already so late. If you're using two different colors, you want to seal one color before you use another color. Yes, you always want to seal one before doing the other. Look at this. This is... That's probably why it's all over the house. I get frustrated with it. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. Tomorrow we'll do the ombre. We won't be all crazy listening to the rain. And, um... Uh, see, this stuff dries yellow. Yuck. Using two different colors, you want to see one. Yeah. So tomorrow we'll do the maroon and the gold ombre. Just because the stinking coffee cup took so long. Unless you want to see me adhere the... Adhere the water slide real quick. I think I totally messed it up. I bought glossy spray paint. Does epoxy? Carla, I've used uh, glossy on accident and it sealed just fine. I didn't have any issues. Don't hold me to that, but I didn't have any. So do y'all want to see me put the Leslie Jordan water slide on that cup real quick? Yes or no? Throw up likes, fingers, yes, hearts, whatever. I also use the purple. I didn't see purple Mod Podge Brie. I just bought what I saw. Yes, water slide. Okay. Let me grab a thing of water real quick. Okay, I'll be right back. I usually use this brush to pull out the water, but that's the brush I use for the glue. Let me grab a different one. I just had a heart attack. <laughs> Did y'all see that? Did you see the lightning? Holy crap. Y'all, 
Whoa. Okay. My lights are still on, so everything's fine. I'm gonna let that dry. I got a bowl of cool, warm water. So, room temp. It's pouring here again. Oh, is it? It's lightning like crazy here. So we're gonna take these two water slides. Now, like I told you guys before, they're clear. So any of the white you're seeing around this, you're not gonna see when I put it on the cup. My son upstairs is freaking out because of that. Okay, and I've got a paper towel here. <clears throat> Yeah, and it's going to rain all week, girl. I need to take off, take my motorcycle out for the day, but I will be next weekend. All right, we're gonna pull water out of the water slide like with this. And we're gonna adhere the water slide to this. Where's my thing? Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna hear it upside down. Cause I don't wanna hold the handle cause y'all made me glitter the whole handle. So you wanna trim as much excess off your water slide as you can. I don't like a whole lot of extra edges because sometimes with clear water slide, they don't always blend in. But this brand of water slide paper, I really don't have that problem. Eleven o'clock at night, I'm drinking coffee. Okay, this is the first water slide we're gonna hit here. I've seal I printed this and I sealed it three times with clear matte Rust-Oleum spray paint. All right. We're going to drop it into the water for about 30 seconds till we start to feel this come off. You're going to wet, really lightly wet, the area that you're going to apply this to. Now let me make sure it's clean. Ooh, that was not where I wanted to hit it. What type of water slide paper do you use? Sunny Scopa, Sandy. Sunny Scopa. So to do a water slide, do I just print an image on water slide paper and seal it? You got it, Tammy. Take your image, whether you want to do it on Google or whatever, upload it to your design space, play with it however you want, adjust the size, print it to your regular printer onto water slide paper. That's it. They're your regular inkjet or laser printer. Seal it two to three times with clear seal spray so the water doesn't um, come off, um, the water. The color doesn't come off when you put it on. Oh, okay, good. I know I'm not alone drinking coffee. So this is where it's going. Maybe a little further now. Ooh, hold on. If you print your image on mirror, it's so much easier to apply the water slide. Instead of pulling the paper from under the water slide, to slide it off on the top. Yeah, Teresa, I just, I don't ever have a problem in hearing it the way I do, but mirroring your image it works great too. I just do it this way, it never gives me any issues. Okay, so I'm going to wet the area, and the reason you wet the area you're applying your water slide to is that means you can move it and adjust it to make it straight. All right, we're gonna pop our water slide in there. And it will curl up. You can just take your fingers and push it down. Totally fine. And you're going to leave it till it starts to pull off, okay? So about 30, 45 seconds.
All right. I'm giving it just a more few more seconds to come completely off. All right, it's coming off. So then you're going to lay your image how you want it. Okay? You're going to hold one end and pull the backing off the other. Oh my God, y'all. This is so stinking cute. Okay, I'm just making sure there's no wrinkles. It's mostly just adjusting and then pull your water out. OMG y'all, it's so cute. Did I miss something? She has a couple she's gonna do live with soon. It's storming like crazy. It's storming like, do you epoxy over the water slide after it dries? Yeah, I let it dry overnight and then I'll epoxy over it. Look at this. How adorable is this cup? Hi, Jessica. Is this not stinking cute? This is cute, y'all. I freaking love it. Also, you want to hear a little tip? Anytime you use these and um, your black ink gets too light, like your words or whatever, ooh, take a permanent marker over the black and darken your black on your water slide. Anytime it gets too light for the words, Real lightly, fine tip sharpie, boom. The purple does go with it. Look at this, y'all. Is it not just adorable? Okay, we're gonna do the other side. I gotta get it off my hand. Let me clean this side. So the next water slide we're adding is this one.
see, this tutorial took forever, but it worked. It came out adorable. I'm going to trim it just a little more. See, my tutorials take forever, but you learn something. I would read it, Teresa, but I can't. I don't want to curse. I don't want to get in trouble for cursing. Some people get offended. Do you sell your cups? Uh, Carla, I do. Um, somebody throw, Jason, throw her up the link. I'm thinking I'll probably do a coffee cup like this for a giveaway on my page if we get to so many likes. I've also got a tumbler behind me that I worked on yesterday that's white and rose gold that I'm going to do the same decal on. It'll just be a, a 20 ounce instead of a coffee cup. Okie dokie. Now we're going to do this one. I'm going to drop it in. It's going to curl. That's okay. Just unroll it. Hold it down with your hand. I see those memes decals everywhere. I'm living under a rock. Um, he's just an actor from TV that's really funny. He's been doing Instagram videos since quarantine started. And so many people have shared them just because they're funny. Bleep the curse word. Oh, okay. Well, I can't really bleep that, y'all. Oh, it creased. It was perfect. And then I kept touching it. Aha. It says, well, poop. What are y'all doing? How's that? <laughs> well, poo. What are y'all doing? That's what the first one says. This next one says, I'm bored poopless, aren't y'all? Y'all, this one is just as stinking cute. I want the color to come off, even though I sealed it. I love it. You ship instead of the word. Yeah, I'll poop. I shouldn't have made this one square. It's still cute, but I shouldn't have made it square. I don't think I sealed this one good enough. Some of the color's coming off. But I can fix it and just double layer it. I can always double layer this um, water slide. Anyone explain the clout? What does it mean? I have several cups on TikTok. 
Helen, leave one on your porch and I sit down and steal it. LOL. Yeah, I don't think I sealed this one good enough. That's my, my, my bad. But I can double layer it and fix it, so it's fine. I'll just cut another image out. Look at that. Maybe I shouldn't have put the background, huh? I should have just took left the words and his picture that I messed with. Y'all think the background looks good? I keep thinking it looks crooked, but it's not. I think it's the shape of the cup and it being square. That's on me. Maybe I shouldn't have made it square. Live and learn. So that's one side, that's the other. I love the other side. I don't know how I, how I feel about the one I made. Tick me off. I shouldn't have made it square. But I thought the background just gave it more like color. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does look crooked, but I think that's because of how he's he's looking you know what i mean because i because his picture's angled and so are the words but if i line up the lines this looks normal Mm -hmm. It lines up with the line of tape on the bottom. I think it's just the curve of the cup. Yeah, no background. We'll see everybody. It... Mm. Is that better? I think it's just the curve of the cup. Yeah, it's definitely the way this cup is curved. I shouldn't have made it square. I can always put both of those other decals on each side. I could just put two on each side. Is that better? I tried to line it up with the, with the tape, the line on the bottom. I don't know. I think the more I fiddle with it, the more it works, the less it looks straight. But you get the idea. Okay. But this is just tutorial. It's all good. Like Casey said. This is this side. I think the other ones, I might not use the one I made. Or I might adjust the one I made and print new ones. Take out the background. I'll take out the background on the one I made. And print new ones. And on the other ones, I'll just have the, um, this part and no background. But this is the other side. This turned out super cute. I'm really happy with that. But yeah, I'll probably take this off and print one again and then not have this background on it. I'll have the regular. 
I need one of those cups in my life. Oh, I'm not sure if the purple for me, but that is an awesome color. I've done a couple with that color. You know, Jason, you could do that in micas. It doesn't have to be glitter purple. Yeah, I think this is so cute. I, I got so many messages on the top. How do you take it off? You just pull it off. It's just a water slide. I just liked the colored background. I thought it gave it more life. Does that make sense? Oh, hey, Janelle. It came out awesome. Yeah, I just, I don't know. I don't know about the background. I think I should take off the background. No? But this one came out awesome. This is so cute. I have a set of four of these, and each one's going to be a different color. So this one is purple. And then the other one I'm going to do, this one, I'm going to make Barbie. How gorgeous is this pink? It's a color shifting pink. This is going to be on this one. Okay, I'm seeing everybody say leave it. I'll leave it alone. I love the background with the watercolors, though. The purple and purple. Yeah, and then I'm thinking the pink with the pink for this one and then the other cup is gonna have blue because I like blue and there's blue in that you see what I mean I match my glitters to that background where did you buy that Barbie glitter chimp I have a lot of Glitter Chimp. I'm not exclusive to Glitter Chimp, but I do get a lot of Glitter Chimp. What if you rounded the corners? That's not a bad idea, Jennifer. I'll play with it. I know it's because it's square, and I maybe should have just shrunk it and put that background specifically around him instead of the whole thing. But I'll play with it. It's making your own designs is not as easy as it sounds. It's all playing with it and seeing what you like because what you like and other people like are always going to be two different things. But yeah, this is the blue I want to use. This is Cabana Blue. This came in my Northern Lights um, package, which eventually we'll do a Northern Lights tutorial. I've got so many lined up that I need to do that I haven't had time. And then the last cup will have rose gold on it. Okay? So... Now that this is probably the longest tutorial I've done, I think I will get off now. We'll do the maroon and gold ombre tomorrow, I promise. I know a lot of people wanted to see the ombre, but we got so caught up with the coffee cup that I'll, I'll do it. Could you distress the edges on this too? Yeah, we could. I just didn't. I just cut it out and stuck it on there. I'll, uh, I can do that on the next cup though. Play around with it. See how I like it. Cabana Blue would be great for the beach tumbler. Yes, it would. I'm looking forward to doing the beach cup. We will do this one tomorrow, guys. I promise. I would do it when I pop off here because it's getting late, but I promised you guys I'd show you. So the maroons I'm using and the gold, I'll show you. The maroon is Dr. Pepper from... Uh, Oh boy, where did I get this one from? Dr. Pepper is from Grateful Glitter, I want to say. Grateful Grateful Glitter is where Dr. Pepper... No? Yeah? Grateful, Grateful Glitter. See, I took it out of the bag. Grateful Glitter. It's either Grateful Glitter or... Um, Where's that other stinking bag? Glitter Glams. It's either one of those. It's either Glitter Glams or Grateful Glitter. Dr. Pepper. And then this one. Didn't miss the ombre. Yay. Janelle, do you want me to do it? This would be the longest tutorial of my life. And then. I can say this because it's the name of the glitter. Shits and Glitz. From Glitter Chimp. Is a really pretty maroon. So I'm going to do a combination of these two. And then for the gold, I'm using uh, a chunky gold rush in champagne. I'm going to mix. 
give it a little more depth and this will be on the bottom. So we're gonna have gold down here because it's a chunky and then these two are fine and this is gonna be up here. This is gonna have four decals on it. Just like that. All right, so we will do the ombre tomorrow. I'm still up and good to keep watching. <laughs> Y'all, this is gonna be the longest tutorial in my life. I don't mind, I'm okay with waiting until tomorrow. We're doing epo epoxy method tomorrow, yeah. I have a curbside pickup for more. Love the gold. Yeah, I love that gold too, that's why I got it. It's a pretty chunky. So we will do the ombre tomorrow, y'all. So will you epoxy the mug? Yes, I will epoxy the mug. I'm gonna glitter seal spray it. I'll show you the spray I'll use. Do you always put the chunky on bottom for ombre? Yes, Tammy, I do. If it's a fine and a chunky, I always put the chunky on the bottom. I think it looks better that way. Texture-wise, it looks better that way. What time do we begin? Surely, same time tomorrow that we started tonight. So 9 central. I Maybe, what's tomorrow? Tuesday? I think Panda's off tomorrow. I can't remember. He changed his schedule. He might be off tomorrow. Either way, if he's off tomorrow, I'll go earlier. I usually try to spend time with him before he goes to work so he doesn't complain. Because cups have taken over my life. But we'll do it that way. How's that? Same time tomorrow? I'll show you the spray. Oh. Yeah, we'll do it tomorrow because my back is killing me. Uh, central time, surely. 9 p.m. Central. This is the spray I'm going to use on that coffee cup, guys. Krylon Glitter Blast Sealer. This works amazing. I used it on this earlier. This is the ombre we did yesterday. I sealed this with this. Okay? And then nothing comes off. And I will probably do a second coat of the chunky on this thing because you can still see some on the bottom. This is not for an order. This is just to do. This is going to be a Leslie Jordan one too. That's why this is white. The clear water slide will go up here. It'll be bigger. And I'll probably change the other side of the decal, but it'll be the same two decals as the coffee cup. And this white turns pink in the sun, guys. That's why I really like I use this white. It's called Vanishing Pink. This turns pink outside in the sun. And I did post pictures of the one I have done before, of the Vanishing Glitter. If you want, I'll show you how it works. I'll drop the video in the comments after this. But this is what I seal it with, and that's what I'm going to seal the coffee cup with. Okay? Don't spray. Now, Janelle, you know what I'm talking about. Don't spray this indoors. Don't seal or spray paint your cups indoors. Spray them outside. Okay? Take your cups outside and spray paint them outside to prep them. Spray paint this outside. This stuff is really strong and spray paint is really strong. Spray your stuff outside. Okay? Don't spray it inside. Yes. So, we're going to seal that coffee cup and then we're going to epoxy it. Okay? And uh, I'll probably go, if it's not still raining, I'll, pour, I'll spray it outside. Yes, Janelle, not on the turner. Don't spray paint it on the turner. Spray paint it outside. <laughs> Jason <laughs> yes spray paint it outside not on the turner not in the house spray paint it outside also don't sand straight glitter don't take your cup that looks like this with nothing on it and sand it Mariana you don't want to know <laughs> oh <laughs> just 
trust me when I say spray paint outside and not on your turner. Janelle PM Mar uh, Mariana and tell her. And this. Okay. Don't sand your glitter. Don't take this and go, oh, it's real bumpy and sand it. Please. Epoxy it once or twice before you sand it to make it smooth. Y'all, the conversations. Janelle, I bet you are. The conversations Janelle and I have had in private. Ooh. Janelle, we're going to have to start a group text. How many layers of epoxy do you have to put on the coffee mug? Um, I would probably only put one because it's a water slide and it's a fine glitter. It should only take you one um, medium... Thin to medium coat of epoxy on that to seal it shut. So like this tumbler right here, guys, as an example. This is a, a hot mess swirl because it's for a peekaboo. I just wanted many different colors. This is a chunky. I epoxied this only once and it's still rough. This is going to get epoxy again before I sand it. Don't sand the glitter itself. You'll lose all the color and all your hard work. Epoxy it twice before you sand. Okay? I hope that helps. Now, I think I covered some things that uh, have been addressed to me to make sure they're taken care of. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to hop off. It's late. My back hurts. We will get back to this hot mess tutorials tomorrow. I hope this has been entertaining for you tonight. It has been, I don't even know, watching me get scared through lightning and listening to it and sirens and all kinds of crazy stuff. So tomorrow, maroon and gold ombre and we'll do another coffee cup. What about alcohol inks? You don't need to sand alcohol inks, Tammy. If it's just alcohol ink on a cup, you don't need to sand that. It's just ink. It's not glitter. You only sand glitter. Oh, I, w I wish I knew that I would not have had to strip. You did great. Thanks so much. <laughs> it's always fun. Yeah, I have some loyal watchers. My numbers go up and down because it's a hot mess up in here. I don't care. I do it for y'all. So, we're going to continue with the days of our cup lives tomorrow. Maroon and Gold Ombre. I'll have to change the title of this because we never got to it. Um, we'll probably do another cup. If you guys are interested in watching another coffee cup, we'll do the pink. Yeah, two coats of epoxy over glitter, Tammy. Before sanding. You don't have to... Yeah, if it's alcohol inks, just put epoxy over the ink. Don't... You don't have to seal inks. You only sand... Or you don't have to seal inks. You don't have to sand inks. You only sand when you glitter. Okay? So I hope everybody has a good night. We all have storms coming through some areas. So everybody stay safe. Pay attention. Um, we don't want a twister situation with any of us blowing in the wind. Okay? We all got to stay safe. Um, I don't plan on going in a closet tonight. We'll see. Uh, you know, I'll be here bugging you. Me, <laughs> you throwing links. Go for it, Jason. We'll all reconvene tomorrow, same time. We will do the ombre. I know a lot of people want to see ombres. We'll do another coffee cup. Um, I'll show you how I seal and epoxy this uh, coffee cup. And maybe I'll mess with some decals. I do plan on working on the storyboard tumbler for number two. Right now, I'm adjusting the size of my decal properly. The tattoo, if I would have done it on the tattoo itself on that cup, I would have lost so much detail in the picture. I didn't want to do that because it's small. So, uh, a smaller cup. So, I'm printing my tattoo decal picture on a water slide and adjusting it so that the whole picture is on the whole cup and I don't lose any detail. Okay, if you do go live. I will try to go live, Joanne, as long as uh, weather permits. I will be here, okay? Everybody, have a good night. Stay safe. Stay healthy out there. Have fun. I hope you got to laugh at me, with me, however you want to see it. And stay away 
from the devil's glue. <laughs> All right, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.